George Kenner. Before I get reviewing the Xtool R2A, which I promised to do, because some people haven't seen my channel before, I want to explain what I do. I started to build out a hobbyist's wood shop in a two-car garage. I started with just a rough, raw garage. In fact, it wasn't even in very good condition. My first tool purchase was a Stepcraft M1000 CNC machine. And I, that happened almost, now we're almost approaching a year probably. And what I did was I came to realize that I would probably like to have a laser. So I bought the Xtool D1. And when the Xtool came, it came with a rotary system like this. And then I found out that there was an upgraded model. Now, why did I upgrade? I like to make beer pints for my friends and custom logo them or do whatever I want to do. And what I found was when I took and I would put it into the rotary system like this to try and get it level, I wasn't always successful. Now, this is a little level that came with the X-Tool, uh, RA2. And you just set it right on top of whatever you're going to laser, and there's a little adjustment screw. You can just get it right in the bubble. Now, I could get this close after I had cut this with my CNC machine, but it just wasn't exactly giving me the result that I'd like to have. So I got this ordered. It came in like all the Xtool products. I'm very impressed with the packaging. When I open up this box, you'll see the foam that this came all packed in. It was all very neatly done. It's almost like it's an Apple iPhone or something that they packaged it in. The quality of the build is exceptional. Just like the quality of the build on the um, the laser itself. It's very, very easy to handle. Now, I found out when I was researching before I made the purchase that Xtool is owned by another company that manufactures special toys for STEM students, science and engineering students that make robots. So I really kind of expected that I would have good instructions because they're teaching kids how to do this. They have to understand they need to make it both auditory and visual. Well, as I expected, the, the instructions on this were really very simplistic. I put it together very quickly. Now, again, just like the D1, this machine came and was very, very easy to assemble, and they gave me everything I needed. When the D1 came, I was surprised that they even gave me a pair of laser goggles with it. Everything I needed, including the software to start processing, was right there. I could be cutting in a matter of probably, honestly, an hour, putting it together, reading the instructions, overcoming the trepidation of making your first cut or your first engraving. And in an hour, I was up. Now, this came with both uh, a screwdriver and an Allen wrench and all the t everything that I needed. This is the device, and this is an interlocking device that will allow you to grab a coffee cup or something of that, of, you know, a cylindrical item that uh, you would like to engrave. These, uh, and again, back to the packaging, these are the little grasping bars that would hold on to the cup. They come perfectly stowable in here. This is gonna become, just go right into my toolbox and everything I need is gonna be right there. It even comes with a chuck to light, to tighten and secure the, uh, piece that you're, you're clamping down. This is an additional roller. Now what I did was I just put this in there like that. While I was in editing this video, Lily from Xtool responded to an email that I had sent her. I had said thank you for having sent me the RA2. She told me that she was going to try and arrange for a discount code for anybody that watches this video. I'll put the terms and conditions and how to access that discount code at the end of this video. And I level it up. I'm set to go. I just made this one for one of my friends and I adjusted the laser so that it burns it 
and leaves kind of a charcoal instead of a white effect. And for the graphic that I put on here, it's a little better. I sent them a picture of this. They're probably going to stop by in the next 20 minutes and pick it up. They just loved it. They thought it was exactly what they had in mind. Now, I've got to get back over to my CNC, but I'll tell you, this laser's addictive. It's very easy to use. You can make really quick little projects. Now, I didn't purchase this to really try and make money off of, but I ordered some of these coasters, and one of my friends, he wanted some coasters for a political event, for a, a party coming up on the primaries, and he said, could you do those on both sides so that there's a message on them? I said, absolutely, I think I made a hundred of them. Now, I gave them to him as a gift, but if I wanted to, I could have sold those, matter of a couple dollars a piece probably. They, they took a little time and there is a cost for the coaster cork. Uh, I could probably have come very close to, to paying off the this machine really pretty quickly. So I approach it as a hobbyist. But if you were looking at it for, you know, can I at least get my money back and learn how to use it? I would think absolutely. Now I am, when I purchased this, they Xtool found out that I had a YouTube channel. So they offered me an affiliate link that I can put down into my channel description, which I will do. And if you'd like to support the channel and buy one of these off of that affiliate link, I get a small little portion. It's not important that you do it. It is nice, but it's not the reason that I do the videos. In fact, this was never really considered to be the primary tool in my shop, but I can see where the importance of having a laser in a wood shop to manufacture you know, products or gifts could be very, very valuable. Let's see what else I've got. Um, oh, my upcoming videos. This is uh, Mbot Neo. I went in and I, I decided that I wanted to get a toy for one of my friend's kids. And he's about eight years old. This may be the perfect thing for him. Now I'm gonna take it apart in another video and do a review, then I'm gonna send it to him. Who wants to, who trusts somebody who's old enough to be a grandpa to evaluate a kid's toy? Let's put it in the kid's hand and find out what happens. The other thing that I've got coming up is um, there is an, another addition to the D series model, which is the beginner CNC. I talked to one of the guys at Stepcraft and they've offered to walk me through why I would want to buy those. I am in the market for another CNC because I want to make fancy cutting boards. If I do one side of an inlay, then I have to do the other side of the inlay. If I had two machines, I could cut the time in half. So I was thinking about buying a smaller one to do my inlay pieces. Maybe this is it. I'm going to go over it. Maybe we can do what I'll call the sales or information call in a Zoom and I'll put that up. If you have any questions, I put my email address down in the bottom. I consider this a you know, forum or my community. If you've got a question and you don't want to put it in the comments, please, by all means, just send me an email. I respond to everything. I wish you the very best. You can do this a lot more fun than watching TV. You actually end up with a product at the end. I'm not going to sit on the couch another day in my life. I'd rather be out in the shop trying to make something, even if I give it away. You have a great day. Again, email me if you got a question. Thank you.